here's the yellow one. This is the Z07 edition in a cutaway. So we'll go down the full side first. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see the Z07 interior with the level two carbon fiber. As this car, half <laughs> of the interior is cut away. But it does have the nice carbon fiber wheels. Now I've been working with MRR design wheels to come up with a forged version of these wheels and they announced yesterday that those wheels are in stock. Both the forged edition of these wheels and the forged edition of the base Z06 wheels. Now here's the engine appearance package for the Z06. It is absolutely crazy beautiful. We'll get to the engine, which is over here, in just a minute. The engine is absolutely incredible. Here's the Z06 wing, Z07 wing, which I was hoping that they might have aftermarket availability for stingrays with this. I'm going to go around the other side and show you how the mount is different that I noticed. In the front, there's an extra radiator in the middle, and the Z07 has a further extended lip on the front end with a really accentuated canard on the side. Now, I plan to do some autocrossing, and I was considering some dive planes or canards for my Stingray, but I don't think that's a good idea for autocrossing. You hit a cone or two, and those things will be ripped right off. Look how large the radiator is. Now these cars have the Cup 2 R's, which is the racing edition, which you really wouldn't want to drive down on the street, because you'd be hydroplaning any puddle you hit at all. It's just a good view of the all aluminum tub the standard on all C8 Corvettes. And this is the aluminum roll protection. It doesn't look like much protection really, but it qualifies. It'll get you on the track. And look at the size of these meats on the back. Okay, now, this is what I was noticing, that on the Stingray wing, the high wing and the spoiler, they just bolt directly onto the top of the bumper cover. But it looks like the Z07 wing is almost a chassis mounted wing, in that it's got a bracket that comes down and bolts to the inside ahead of the bumper cover. Now this is supposed to give, the whole car is supposed to have over 700 pounds of downforce. So I'd imagine this wing alone is probably over 500 pounds of downforce. So you really wouldn't want that just bolted to the top of the, of the bumper cover. And they've already thought of that. They've got it very, very secure. Here's a good look at the exhaust. Now, the outer exhausts have a special baffle on them that is supposed to send the sound back into the engine compartment, where the inner exhausts let the sound completely out. So I believe that the outer exhaust ports are for when you have the, the valves closed down for quieter riding, and then the outer ones are for when you open the valves up and let the car really sing. Here's the transmission. You see how low the transmission sits in here? Now they've been able to accomplish having the full trunk space available even with the center exhaust. You can see how they've routed the center exhaust very low and then around to the center 
so it doesn't cost you any trunk space at all. And you can still put your full roof in the trunk or two golf bags if you want to take your CO6 golf and if you're that kind of guy. I just love this engine cover. All right, so that's the cutaway. It's really nice that they do this.